Hi and welcome to another edition of I Am Trans News. I am your hostess as always, Novana Beta. And today I'm going to be talking to you about a trans woman named Meha who has been convicted um, of a crime in Kuwait. So I'm just going to be letting you guys know about Meha and her current circumstances in um, Kuwait. So it says here that a Kuwait court has sentenced a transgender woman to prison for imitating the opposite sex online. Trans Rights Watch said today, such laws violate the, the rights of free expression, privacy, and non-discrimination under Ku Kuwait's constitution and international law. The authorities should immediately release her and squash this conviction. So I'm just going to say off the back that I think Meha is um, definitely wrongfully being imprisoned for being herself. Clearly she has been um, herself for a long time because you know that process doesn't happen overnight. That transition doesn't happen overnight. So I'm sure that she's been constantly going through harassment and um, potential prison time. So this may not be something that's new to her. But... It, it also doesn't seem like it's something that's new in Kuwait. It seems like that's something that they've been doing and will continue to do more than likely. But let me continue on. It says that the court on October 3rd, 2021, sentenced Meha, who's a 40-year-old, to two years in prison and a fine of $1,000 or 1000 Kuwaiti Kuwaiti dollars, which is 3000 $315 in United States money for misusing phone uh, communications by imitating the opposite sex online under Article 70 of the Telecommunications Law and Article 198 of a penal code of the penal code. She has been arrested multiple times, okay, multiple times since 2019 for her transgendered identity, but the current conviction is uh, apparently based on her online activity in 2021 so we already know what was going on in 2020 and 2021 with the pandemic i'm sure that she had to find other means to um to make money i'm just uh making an assumption uh maybe incorrect on that but it says that uh she was fined and was given prison time for her online um usage of communications and uh imitating the opposite sex so i i don't want to draw any conclusions but i think you can understand the conclusion that i am thinking um just because it would be safe and it kind of would be a smarter way to handle business um if i could say but who's to say she might have just been a trans woman just talking on the phone with with people or potentially with a man that she was interested in or a woman that she was interested in and things could have went left who knows um it says here the kuwaiti government monitoring repeated arrest and imprisonment of meha for her trans identity is a blatant violation of her basic rights um this was written by a uh, rights researcher. Um, and it says here that um, one of those human rights workers um, was watching an interview on October 8th that after receiving news of her conviction, she went into hiding. But the police arrested her on October 11th at the hotel where she was staying she was being held at kuwait central prison a man's prison in a solidar in a solidary cell designated for transgender detainees so they locked her up and put her in a male's prison and then they put her in a holding cell that's what they call it in the united states as a general term just the holding cell where they put you in your in isolation um okay so she's being really traumatized here and she went to hiding and everything. This is why some trans women come want to come to the United States because it's not that severe where we can't even walk down the streets. So 
I'm very grateful and I thank all the trans women who came before me um, who made it possible for that to happen. And, um, okay. It says here, police had allowed her to make a call to her lawyer. She called her lawyer. Um, the Human Rights Watch that this was the sixth time that she was that she had been arrested for a transgender identity. So it was the sixth time. And it says here on June 5th, the authorities summoned, summoned her for imitating a woman for the fourth time. And she had faced the same charges that year after she posted a video online saying that the police had raped and beaten her while she was detained in a male's prison for months in the 20 the early 2000s i think it says 2019 yeah it might say 2019 they cut off but wow she's been going through a lot and so my prayers go out to Meha and uh, we need to get her out of there. I'm going to keep y'all updated on any information I find out about, about Miha. And, um, yeah, let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Make sure you leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell. And you'll be, you know, we'll let you know when we got some new videos coming out. Um, I hope y'all enjoy your weekend. Stay safe. Um, stay prayed up. And as always, I am Novana Beta, and this is I Am Trans News.